So today I'm showing y'all how I do these short medium size passion twists using this 18 inch springy afro twist human hair extensions from Y wigs and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this tutorial I'm just gonna start off my first twist like a knotless braid those of you that aren't familiar with how to do that you can go ahead and check out some of my other tutorials on knotless braids on my channel and after I braid down a good two three times I'm gonna take my natural hair and just split that in half and at this point I'm just using a little bit of shining jam to help my hair blend with the twist and from this point just go into a regular two strand twist I didn't realize until after I got into the twisting but the hair was so short so I did end up having to extend my twist taking another piece of hair I overlap that on top of my twist and I'm going to twist the new strand and the current strand together going in the same direction and continue to two strand twist like I've been doing. I know that probably sounds so complicated. Um, I am going to do this a few more times and I also do have a very detailed video here on my channel of how I extend my passion twist. So I will link that up top and down below if you guys want to check that out in more depth. It's very important to make sure that you're twisting the hair in the direction that the curl is going in to get this spiral look. But yeah, from here on, um, I'm just going to let you guys watch and observe because it is really repetitive. Finish. It's supposed to be a bob, so I'm gonna cut them shorter. I'm thinking around right here. I still want to be able to do some type of styles with them, so I don't want them too short. I'm gonna do a few curly pieces. I still have my micro links left over with Y wigs. It's a pretty nice match. I'm confident that it'll look cute once it's all in. I'm just gonna cut the little links off and I'm going to crochet the curly pieces in my twist. I was so nervous to cut them because I did not know if they were gonna unravel or not. So I just did one at a time just to check real fast, but nope, we were good, nothing unraveled. I'm about to show y'all right now how I put in these curly pieces. I'm cutting off that little thingy and I'm going to crochet my strand through. And at this point, once I have it crocheted through the box part, I'm just going through the actual twist and crocheting it through. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend. After I do that, I just tugged on the longer strand and wrapped it around the base, stuck my crochet needle through my box, and just pulled it through the other side to kind of secure it. I hope seeing this makes more sense than me saying it because I do not know how else to like better explain it. But yeah, it's nice and secure. It's in. I 
and I don't think I mentioned I was sent out three bundles of the 18 inch springy afro twist hair and I did end up using all three bundles I'm not exactly sure how much hair came in each bundle but I will leave all of the information and um, the direct link to the actual hair down in the description below for those of you that want to check that out that along with the curly hair that I used all this shit you were spitting so unoriginal But it was you, so I was with it Then to tell you the truth, which we never did it Excuse my background. I'm in the middle of rearranging my room and my closet. It's very, very hectic in my space, but the show must go on. Clearly the edges didn't last like I thought they would. So I'm gonna just use my got to be ultra glue gel to just touch them up. Let's see, I could, I could do maybe like mini styles with it but y'all know how it is with the short hair you can only do but so much One thing I definitely can say, it's not heavy at all. It definitely is a lightweight hairstyle. I think it's really, really cute. This would be bomb in the summertime. I didn't go too crazy with the little pieces. It was hella tedious. And also the curls itself aren't really as long as the twist. I know y'all love to ask in the comment section how long the style lasts and how it held up. So far so good. I've had these twists in already for about three days, three, four days. And I'm just now checking in with you guys. So it still looks bomb after 340 they still look fresh they still look nice presentable the curls that i added are still in and tight the style turned out really nice i think it would have been even nicer if it was longer but y'all let me know what y'all think let me know how y'all feel about this hairstyle if you end up trying any of the methods i use you know of course if you guys have any questions concerns i love 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 hearing your feedback down in the comment section respectful feedback i gotta say that now because y'all be trying me in the comments like i won't clap back happy holidays everybody stay safe and i will see you guys in my next video